what if you don't really want to be a VTuber? What if what you actually want to have is just an OC? What's the difference between those things anyways? And does it even matter? Well, hmm. Let's talk about it. All right. So, OC versus VTuber. Did you know that OC, which means original character, is like an actual thing that's existed for years and years and years and years beyond VTubing. And there are many different types of OCs, including having an original character that was inspired by a TV, a movie, or a game, or anime. There's also the self-insert OCs, which is you know, someone, who, it's a character that you can feel like you can insert yourself into. I do this all the time. <laughs> this is what makes a lot of video games and like anime, especially, especially like anime that has the most blandest like main character. It's meant to be a self-insert character. You're meant to imagine yourself as that character. There's also character clones. I'm not entirely familiar with character clones other than like they're well, they're not necessarily copies, but they're like clones of like other characters that exist. And then there's recolored versions of OCs, which is kind of, um, I don't know why, but every time when I think of like recolored stuff, I think of like the Sonic OC stuff that people made on DeviantArt back in the early 2000s. Like, I don't know why I just think of that. I don't know if that's exactly what it is. I just, it's kind of like repainting different variations of like your OC. And so something that I would like to just kind of add to this is that a VTuber can be kind of considered like an OC in a way. But there is like a, a difference. There's kind of a big nuance between this because unlike original characters, VTubers kind of have this like interesting mix between self-insert to like the literal sense of it and then being a cartoon on screen. So you'll notice like a lot of VTubers will be like, oh, um, my VTuber model is just myself. It's just a representation of myself. Like it's like an OC. It's like, I'm self-inserting myself into this character. So whatever happens to this character is like actually happening to me. That is how some people view their VTuber model. Other people view VTuber models as like, this is a way for me to role play, be a character, be a personality that I can't be in the IRL world. You know, you ever just, you ever just like see um like a cat girl and you're like, oh, is she really like that? Or is this just like the character? That's where that whole like fourth wall breaking and kayfabe and stuff like that all kind of come into play. Like, I don't want to say like, it's not black and white, right? It's not like a, it's either yourself or a character and that's it. There's also a gray zone as well, but I'm not going to get into that because this is just a beginner's type of course. So just kind of understand that some people when you talk to another VTuber, their VTuber model could actually be a character. So the things that they say, that's not how they really feel. That is how their character feels. Or their VTuber model could be themselves. And what they say and do is how they actually feel. How to distinguish that? Gosh, if I knew, if I knew, <laughs> if I knew, I would tell you. But anyway, so there is a difference between those two. And yes, this is my original character. I don't show this too often. I usually use my VTuber models uh, for my main channel. These are my VTuber models up over here. These are the concepts I have, I've spent many years cultivating, but this is my actual self-inserted OC. Uh, you may see my OC more on this channel moving forward, but I really like being my cat self. I think it's a really, I think it's a better representation of me. So yeah. You always thought that OC was part of the fan fiction community. It can be, yeah, it absolutely can be. It actually, um, fan fiction is a really great tangent. I, I don't want to go on too many tangents, but if you would like me to talk more about like OCs and like the fan fiction culture and how VTubing is tied to that in a future video, please let me know. That is something that I would love to go on a tangent on, just not for today, but I hope this could answer some of your questions about the differences between having just an OC versus a VTuber model. And this can help you make a better decision if VTubing is even a right path for you to take. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel, everyone. I'll talk to you again next time. And remember, everything reminds you of something. Bye.